The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. Now, for his message today, here is Reverend Sammy. See, that's the aim of the ministry. We are going to be able to produce every man uh, perfect before God, uh, not being able to be tossing to and fro. That means that we want, by the Holy Spirit, to be able to firmly plant you. We plant you and you grow from a nursery stage and seedling to a big oak tree that is now developing uh, uh, robustness and, and strength and tapping your roots downward and bringing your fruits upward. Bible says that being tossed uh, not, so that we will not be able to produce uh, no more children tossed to and fro and carried away by every wind of doctrine, by every slight of men, those are the lies of men, and cunning craftiness, uh, whereby they lie, they're always out there, they're always out there lying in wait to deceive. But, but, look at verse 15, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which he is the head, even Christ Jesus. So as a minister of the gospel, uh, God wants you to exercise your office, the fivefold ministry gifts you are called of God to exercise your office in love. The devil is going to try as much as possible uh, to, to make you not walk in love. He'll try as much as possible to make you hate in your heart, to make you uh, revile in your heart, to make you uh, uh, begin to uh, throw, throw casting aspersions and uh, throw jabs and casting aspersions and, and mud slings and on, on names of, of, of higher authority figures in the gospel that are higher than you. He make you like to envy, he make you like to be jealous of them, he make you like to pull people down, he make you like to backslide, make you back, back, backslide, make, of course, likes you to backslide and if you do not operate in love you're going to backslide the anointing will be pinched the anointing is like it's like a vessel it's like a container and if you do not operate in love if you do not hear these words by, by the ears of your spirit man your inner man the one that that can hear the voice of God if you do not receive these words you will be pinched I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how you may be anointed to the teeth, anointed to the zenith. But if you do not operate in love, you will begin to lose power very soon. You're going to be like an airplane that begins to lose altitude. And you lose pressure. You're going looking for trouble. You're going to crash. My prayer today for you is that you will be strong. You will be strong in love. Let everything that you do be motivated by love. The Bible says, for fire will try your works. There be many people, many people who are called of God. Oh, doubtless, they are anointed by the Holy Spirit. They are anointed of God, but they will lose their rewards. They will lose their rewards because fire of God, the purifier fire, he is going to prove their work. First Corinthians in chapter 3 makes me know that. And they will lose their reward. My prayer today is that you will not lose your reward no matter what the cost may be. First Corinthians in chapter 13 verse 1 says that though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have no love or charity, I am becoming like as, not really becoming, you have become, the Bible says, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Clang, 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 clang. You're just making empty noise all over the place. Why? Because you are pinched. There is a hole, there is a gaping hole on the backside of your spirit, man, that is, that is leaking out. You're, le you're leaking out anointing. You're leaking fire. You're leaking, you're leaking fuel. You're coming down, no matter who you are. Why? Because you've got no operational gift of love in your life. Verse 2, 1 Corinthians and chapter 13 and verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy, <laughs> look at it. You'll be the best prophet in the whole world. You can see into heavenly realms. You can understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though you have all faith as to be able to move uh, Kilimanjaro or Everest, those are mountains, by the way. 
and you have no charity, no love, the Bible says you're nothing. Let me say it again. You got all the gift of the Spirit. You're anointed to operate in the fivefold ministry gifts, apostle, the prophets, pastors, evangelists, and teacher. And you can do all that. You can do all. Oh, we know you can do all that. But the reason why you do that is motivated out of greed, motivated out of jealousy, motivated out of out of out of class distinction. You want to you want to compare yourself with another. You want to compete. It's out of competition, isn't it? Uh, you are working all the works that you're doing. And you know the funniest thing is that you doing all these things and people don't know that there is there is a gaping hole in your heart of hatred, of, of dislike, of, of jealousy, of other men of God, of covetousness. Uh, they don't know that because the, the funniest thing is that the, the anointing still works. The anointing still, Bible says that the gifts and callings of God, they are without repentance. What that means is that God is not going to take his gift away from your life. That's why you find this this uh, men of God, women of God that are so highly placed, still behaving stupid and silly, still behaving funny. They are not operating in submission of love to the Holy Spirit. They are not operating out of love. And they are just zilch, zippo, nothing. That's what the Bible says. I did not say that. Don't come looking for me. You won't find me. I'm hidden in Christ in God. And you can't find me. I'm just telling you in love what's going likely going to, not likely, what's definitely going to happen to you. You're going to lose your reward, all the mansions you built for God, all the churches you built, all the orphanages you built, all the preaching, all the TV ministry. Hey, out of love, zilch, zero nothing. The devil will attack your love power. Is the devil attacking your love power today? I'm called of God by the power and the Holy Spirit to call you back home, call you to your first love, call you back home, call you back home and talk at you with the word of God. The second thing that a devil will want to to attack in your life as your ministry is your faith. Look at what the Bible says in Luke in chapter 22, Luke in chapter 22 and verse 32. Uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, Jesus was praying for uh, his disciple, the most uh, rev uh, reverend, the most revered apostle, uh, Peter. He says, Peter, I have prayed uh, for you, Simon, Simon, uh, behold the devil, verse 31, uh, Luke and chapter uh, 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desire. That's what he likes to do. He desires to sift you. He desires to sift you, take away the best part of you and present you with, with shingles. He desires to sift you uh, that, that he may sift you as wheat. Look at verse 32. But I have prayed for thee that your faith will not fail. There are two kinds of faith right there. Uh, your faith will not fail. Uh, the Bible says in Galatians in chapter 2 and verse 20, it says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, and the life which I now live, I live by who? By the faith of Jesus Christ, the Son of God who loves me, and gave himself for me, and it says, I don't frustrate that grace. See, that grace of God gives you that faith or qualifies or or uh, credits, that's the word, credits into your account. Look at your, your spiritual account, your, your, your credit already with the faith of the Son of God. That faith of the Son of God is that faith that you need. All you need to do is just come to Christ. You come on the basis of grace and the faith of the Son of God. You do nothing to qualify to become a saint of God. You do nothing to qualify to come into heaven. You do not just come as you are. Come as you are. I don't care how uh, dressed you are. I don't care how much blink you got on, how much blink you haven't got on. I don't care whether you are dressed up, uh, funny looking, or you are dressed up, you know, in old style, old English. I don't, that's not even relevant. What's relevant is your heart. Come with your heart to Christ. And when you come with your heart to Christ, 
Uh, he will take you just as you are. And then he'll set you in the setting in the church. And the pastor, the teachers, the evangelists, the prophets and apostles, they begin to work on you. And you begin to grow and you begin to change. But, but that faith does not need you doing anything. You're, you're, you're cruising. You're, you're cruising solo with Christ. You're cruising on the faith of the Son of God. That's a, a faith based on the grace of Christ. But... If you're going to do great things for God, uh, you will need now to begin to operate. You'll have to uh, start the engine. Uh, it takes some work. You start some spiritual work in you. Uh, you start the engine. You, you kickstart your own faith. Your own faith makes you qualify. Let me read to you from the word of God in the Amplified Version. It says in verse 32, it says, Jesus says, but I've prayed for you, Peter, that I'll read it again, verse 32, but I've prayed especially, that's a word that I missed out, especially for you, Peter, that your own faith may not fail. Why do you think that the Bible says that you put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day? I haven't done all to stand. Put on the uh, helmet of salvation. Uh, the breastplate of righteousness. However, you got the shield of faith. Why do you call? Why do you think the Bible says it's called the shield of faith? Why? Because the devil is going to fire at you. It's fairy darts, and you got to be covered. There ain't nothing on the back side in the spiritual realm. Everything is on the front side. You got to be covered with the shield of your own faith, shield of your faith. Why? Because the devil is, is targeting to sift that your faith. Your faith will come when you study the word of God. The Bible says, faith cometh, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Your faith will begin to grow when you when you walk with, with others of like mind in the spirit. Like you hearing these words or you hearing right now, your faith is beginning to grow. That's the faith that you gotta cultivate. You gotta keep that faith. You gotta cultivate. You gotta cultivate it and make it grow by the power of God. Why? Because the devil wants to sift and fire and sniper fire you on you. You don't want the devil to get you in the day of trouble. That's why this word is coming out to you now. Not pulling out punches, delivering to you the full counsel of God. He says so that when, look at this now, Amplified Version, and when, Jesus said so, and when you yourself have been turned again, that is when you've turned yourself around, you repented of those things that you're doing wrong. Yeah, I know you're still a sin, but you're still doing some rabbit about, you're still a sin, you're still fornicating, you're still a sin, you're born again, but you're still, you know, sipping some stuff, you're still a sin, doing some funny stuff. I know, I know, I know all that. Don't, don't say you didn't do that. All I'm saying to you is that we acknowledge the fact that the grace of God is covering your life, but that grace, the Bible says, in Galatians 2 21 22 you do not want to frustrate the grace of God you don't want to frustrate the grace of God that's why you now begin to work on your own salvation with fear and trembling so that you may be able to be fully presented a full-grown man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ Jesus. Look at what Jesus said in that place that I read to you, Luke 22, 32. He says, but when you turn, I'm talking about turn, you turn again, you're a sin of God, but you need to turn. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Worship with us at any of our branches where you would be welcomed with warmth and love. The Harvest Ways International Church, Holloway Hall, Lay Hill, Northfield, Birmingham, England, b 311 tt Telephone country code 44 785 467 5159. Sundays at 12 p.m. and Friday Bible study at 7 p.m. The Harvest Ways International Church in Nigeria. Sundays at 9 a.m. and Wednesdays at 5 30 p.m. Please take time to visit our website and order any of our books at harvestways.org. We deliver around the world. You may also support this ministry on the same website, harvestways.org, by clicking the Sow a Seed button. Connect with Reverend Sammy on Facebook and Twitter, searching for Sammy O. Joseph. This broadcast has been paid for by the Sammy Joseph Ministries. We thank you for your generous support.